What's up guys, welcome to iDevice Central channel, I'm Joe Snow and today I have for you the update for Libby Mobile Device and iDevice Restore that I created, I compiled for you for Windows because yesterday I released the version for a Mac which is right here, Libby Mobile Device update for Mac and everybody told me that I should also created for Windows, I should also build it for Windows. Now, if you don't trust my binaries, you can go ahead on uh, github.com slash device and get the project yourself. If you go right here, for example, and you have the source code and all the um, compiling instructions for Windows, sorry, for uh, Linux and OS six. For Windows, it's a little bit tricky. You have to use this thing. Let me show you. It's called Ming, min GW and you need to use this thing in order to compile your thing but you can also do it on Windows if you want to well but if you trust my binaries there is uh, a link in the description that you can download and you can get all these things and you can go ahead and simply use them probably the most used application from this tool set is basically the iDevice restore which I'm going to show you is this one that helps you to actually flash a custom made farmer or a normal farmer with Cydia or not, with exploit or not, depending on device, and with multiple parameters that you can set on your device. And it's pretty much the best application for this that you can find, and it's open source, you can modify it the way you want, uh, as long as you don't get out of the um, the license bounds. So, you can uh, tell that it's a newer version because it has the homepage link right here, which is libymobiledevice.org. The uh, version from Kua Motion, of course, does not have that link because they should probably write Kua Motion there and probably they are not allowed to do that because it's not their application, they're just compiling it. And therefore, you can tell this is the original untouched version. You can also navigate here on libymobiledevice.org, the link advertised in the application, and you can read whatever is new. They keep a news section where they actually update what is new. And on uh, July, they say that, yep, Libby Mobile Device works with iOS 10. Therefore, if you, for example, uh, want to use it on Linux, OS X or Windows to connect your device and to manage your device in, in which means backing the device up or restoring or accessing the file system of the device and getting the pictures or data from it, uh, your personal data, for example, uh, most likely the pictures, you can do so without any problem. You can synchronize devices and there is no problem on iOS 10. And of course, it works on iOS 9.3.4 as well. Keep in mind, iOS 9.3.4 is the latest version supported by iPhone, iPhone 4S. Therefore, this, this tool comes in handy for you. So basically, this is the application. I also updated the firmware manager, FC365 firmware manager. I think I uh, clicked the wrong link. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I'm going to close this one. Okay. And here on the settings, you have the uh, restore engine last update. It's uh, August 15, 2016. This means uh, the uh, latest time I updated the Libby mobile device component behind this application. Because if you go right here on the uh, firmware restore, this application basically uses the uh, compiled version of Libby mobile device in the background and gives you a user interface for exactly that. You can either use this tool right here or you can use this tool right here. Uh, just a second. This is the uh, tool behind that restore part. And for those who can't simply stand CMD or they don't like console-like applications, who does? They can use or you can use the uh, firmware manager that has the uh, firmware restore embedded and you can simply use it without any problem. And it was updated, you can download it from the description as well as the builds. Those are updated compared with my previous version that I uh, released a couple of videos ago, I think a few weeks ago, because they also updated the uh, the contents. As you can see, it was iDevice installer was updated three days ago and Libby mobile device cross component was updated six days ago and so on and so forth. 
Therefore, you need to keep updated. And if you don't want to use MinGW in order to compile all the things uh, by yourself, because here you only get the source code that if you don't understand, then you're pretty much stuck. Then I did it for you and you have them uh, basically available in the description. So you don't need to mess with the code, you don't need to mess with MinGW and you have them updated. As I said, check out libymobiledevice.org for news and change logs. And also do not forget to stay updated by, che my, by checking my channel and subscribing if you are not subscribed yet to stay updated on more videos. Check out the playlists if you're interested in a uh, specific device or a specific iOS version. As you can see, I dropped them in um, playlists. Or also check out this playlist if you are interested in jailbreak only. This is basically it. Download your goodies from the description and do not forget to subscribe if you're not, to like and to share this video with your friends to keep them updated, especially if they're running iOS. Thanks for watching. Till the next time, peace out.